All right, so uh, we're going to select this line, and what we're going to do is we're going to collect, uh, press Control E, mark scene. And as you can see, the color has changed to the red color, um, or striped red and silver. What this does is it's going to tell Blender that when you unwrap this mesh, you should split the unwrap in that line. So separate it there. It shouldn't be a round unwrap. So now we're going to test this out. Uh, as you can see, it unwrapped it round. You unwrap, the unwrap is more flat now. So this achieved the effect, the effect that we wanted. Uh, this helps with uh, unwrapping, obviously, marking seams. It takes, sometimes it takes a long time, so I'm going to add a new texture. <coughs> um, what? Um, okay, so I set this to my, to a different language, it's not in English, so sorry about that. Um, new. Call this a uh, tunnel and the quality should be fine 1000 by uh, 1024 by 1024 select UV test grid which helps you s see your uh, object while you're editing just makes it look better because if you have completely dark then you're not going to see how it looks in shaded areas um, and I just lost my texture I'm just going new tunnel UV test grid okay Right, so here we have our UV test grid texture, and now we're going to go to edit mode. Now we're just going to select that texture so that our object is unwrapped on that texture. It's using that texture. And as you can see, switch to edit mode, uh, to texture mode, sorry, Alt-Z, and it's textured. You can see our grid here. Alright, so now that we have our texture laid out properly, uh, I'm going to switch this to properties um okay so here we have our material nice select our object uh there's no need for that though okay so uh i'm gonna change this to tunnel you just gonna change the name switch to texture and uh there's a blender 2.5 glitch it's a beta so it glitches press new and here we have our texture i could call this uh Change this to image first of all. Okay, so now that it's at image, um, um, we want to use the texture that we just created, the grid texture, as the base texture. Keep that checked, and we want to pack it as PNG so that it's it gets. What this does is it saves it in the Blender file, so that your file wouldn't get lost. If you don't pack it, you're gonna get it's gonna get lost. Um, so that's why I need to pack it. You could also save save it as and link it. I'm not going to teach that. This is out of scope of the tutorial, but <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so now it's packed. Um, we want to, and uh, you can see it says unpack there, so you know it's packed, and we're going to change this to, this is on generated. Uh, we're going to change this to UV because what generated does is, this, what UV does is it tells Blender to use the unwrapping that we created so with the seams that we made the way we the way we want it to look generated is just how blender r randomly unwraps it not even unwraps it just places the texture on it so we want to use our own because it looks better uh, another glitch uh, don't worry about that just press new and it should go away if it doesn't then maybe you want to save and restart blender so this will be for the diffuse, the texture. We're going to paint the texture on our object. So we want to uncheck that because the diffuse that we're going to uh, load, will we don't want that to show. We just want to use that as a painting tool. So we're going to change that to image. Um, where is it? Um, yeah, right there. <coughs> Sorry. I'm losing my voice here. Um, Okay, so now we want to open. Uh, there should be a link in the description for a texture pack. This is the texture pack I'm going to be using. Um, let me just find it. I have it. Okay. There it is. Uh, don't mind the fact that I have two folders. I just downloaded it twice for some reason and extracted it twice. So what we're going to use is um, Diffuse 8. And uh, you can see I have Diffuse 8 Dark. Uh, you shouldn't worry about that. I made a custom color, which I used for the collapsed rocks and the rock. So here we have normal. This is for fake bumps. Um, this uses GLSO, uh, advanced shaders. 
um, because, uh, you know, it fakes polygon detail instead of actually having the polygon detail. And you'll see the effect later on. Specular, which uh, changes which parts shine in your object. So if you're, you're going to add spec, then uh, your specular map is going to decide. So if you have a character, you don't want the skin to be too shiny. So your specular map is going to help control that. Um, so what we want, uh, that's basically a specular map. We want the diffuse 8, the default diffuse. Uh, there you see it. It's seamless, as you can see. Um, it tiles perfectly. Now, uh, as you can see, it doesn't show because we unchecked it. So now we're going to go to texture paint. And we're going to switch to solid mode because it has a smooth shading. Uh, you don't want to do, you don't want to edit a lot in texture mode. It takes up memory. So uh, now we want to paint the texture over our tunnel because t uh, terrains and such look pretty good when you um, paint over them. Alright, so texture paint and we will uh, change the name, let's change that to diffuse 8 to make it easier to find. So uh, <coughs> here we're gonna select our texture. Uh, if you scroll down here you're gonna find texture it has this uh, weird texture just select you'll see our diffuse 8 here whatever you named it it should show up it also should show the texture so I'm gonna select that because this is what we want to paint so if you notice um, if I stroke this it shows on the mesh and it also updates right here um, if your computer is uh, a bit slow then updating over here is gonna take up some memory so you might want to switch this and as you can see uh, when I stroke this it it's asking me to pack it again, but I'm not going to do that until I'm done. So, <coughs> I want this to have a bluish look. First of all, I want the strength to be on top. Uh, radius, I also want this to be pretty high because it makes it, it, it just takes less time. Uh, so, I'm going to change this to a bluish color. Let's say, alright. No, that looks like Zer Creep from StarCraft 2. Um, purple. No, too purple. Uh, too blue. Let's see, I don't know. It's kind of hard to get the perfect color. I'll just go with this gray-ish. So I'm just going to paint over this. As you can see, as I zoom out, the texture is actually painted larger. When I'm zoomed in, it's painted smaller. More detail Uh, makes the game look richer in graphic quality. So paint over that. So now we're just basically painting the texture. And if you notice, when I paint like this, uh, it might stretch some parts, so you just want to make sure that that doesn't happen. And it might stretch because your unwrapping wasn't the greatest unwrapping, so keep that in mind. If it's stretching, if it looks weird, these uh, squares should be... Um, rectangular rectangular shaped uh, like close to, as close to a square as possible if it's too stretched out like those ones for example uh, it's gonna make your texture look weird as you can see here I'm not gonna take my time to perfect this because uh, this is just for a tutorial but like I said in your game you wanna put in more effort um, keep going with the textures I'm just gonna zoom out Alright. So you can see this is pretty bad, so I'm just going to go over that again. Uh, the texture that I'm using is a seamless texture, and the one that you should be using if you're following this tutorial, or it could be your own custom texture, of course. Um, it's pretty seamless. So when I'm painting, it doesn't look like it's tiling. It looks pretty seamless. Obviously, painting helps to make your level look less seamless, but the texture itself also has some effect. So we have this mess over here. Apparently, oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. I was just painting on the invisible ceiling from the outside. Uh, I think it's fine. Okay, so that will be our 
Oh, you might want to make this darker, for example, for the ground, let's say, in the center. You might want to make it darker. Okay, these are just details that you can add. Alright, so there we go. Okay, so this will be our basic tunnel. And now we are going to move on. Now, first of all, before we move on, um, you want to pack this so that your file wouldn't be lost. Or, as I said, save it. If you know how to link it, then I guess you know how to link it. Um, now we packed it, as, and as you can see, um, it's it looks pretty good in textured mode. So, now I'm just going to go over uh, changing the material so that it would look better in uh, GLSL. Like I said, not... okay. GLSL, not every computer can run that, um, so if your computer can't run GLSL, don't worry about it. You can still make your game look good. Uh, hopefully my next, uh, or not necessarily my next, in, but in future tutorials, I will learn some fake shading techniques. I will teach you, sorry, some uh, fake shading techniques to make your game look more realistic without GLSL. So if I switch to GLSL, as you can see, it sh created uh, more real-time shading. This is the spec that I was talking about. It's pretty shiny. Uh... Now, obviously, we don't want this with our tunnel. So, what we're going to do is... Uh, first of all, we want to add a normal map to the tunnel. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Add new image. Open. And I'm going to go to my texture files. And where's diffuse 8? Now, we're going to select normal 8. So, as I said, if GLSL is not working for you, then this will not help you. So this is a mess. Uh, as you can see, the normal maps are showing, uh, but not as normal maps. It's showing as a texture. So we want to change this, first of all, to UV. You can see it looks better now, uh, except it still looks bad. So I'm going to deselect color here, uncheck that. So now the color is not going to show up the normal map. What I want to do is geometry over here. We want to select normal. So now it's going to show as normal maps. As you can see, there's no change. That's because you have to go over here image sampling and check normal so now you can see the normals made our level look way more detailed than it originally looked so this is what I was talking about the normal maps it's still too shiny so uh, you can obviously change this over here spec make it softer uh, you can also make it harder so for example if you're making a rainy uh, scene you want to make it pretty shiny so this is what hard is for I'm just gonna turn this to 50 the default intensity I'm gonna reduce that um, now I'm gonna add a sp finally uh, you don't need to add this you could add it to make it look better to make your game look better um, a specular map so over here new you can call this spec for example uh, like as I said you don't really need to uh, UV. It's obviously an image. Hmm. Um, oh yes, I didn't change it. So, image. Or movie. Open. Last texture. Specular. So, this would be the specular map. As you see, it applied the colors which is not what we want so I am gonna deselect color and specular over here intensity okay so um, no matter how much you reduce the intensity I'm not sure why it does this but because we're using a default lamp it's not gonna reduce the spec it's still gonna be just as shiny it's gonna make your uh, tunnel look like tinfoil so you want to change the light properties I selected the lamp change this to Hemi or Hemi or whatever. Uh, rotate this on the y-axis. Okay, so now, as you can see, changing the spec will have effect on our cave. So we want to have it to make it have light spec. So it still looks okay. All right, not too much. Okay, so. Um, and we also want, because this will not be the main lamp, uh, this will this will only be a light lamp just in case there's a dark area. Because I don't like uh, completely dark areas where you can't see anything. 
unless you you want that, then you can uh, use that as your main light or other lights. I use this. I make it pretty a pretty weak uh, light because, uh, like, just in case you see when it's dark, uh, this would be the darkest it would get. Uh, that's how I like it. For example, yeah, I think this is fine, or maybe rotate it on the y-axis so there would be more neutral lighting. Okay, so this is as dark as I want my tunnel to be, and. I will be teaching you how to add props now.